Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to make a review of this uh, Swofi MP3 player, it comes with 64 gb of RAM, I'll get you to the unboxing, I'll show you how to set it up and make sure to stick till the end where I'll share my honest thoughts about the quality uh, of this product. So guys, if you find this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you can tap the like button, also consider to subscribe, so let's get into the video. Yeah, so now I'm going to remove this uh, foil and this is the first overview of the player, in my opinion it is quite big, I didn't expect this. And this is the back of it, high uh, fidelity music, all right. Uh, here at the top, uh, here at the front, in fact, it has a screen and several buttons. And uh, so far, from what I can see, yeah, the building quality is quite good. It's made from uh, solid plastic uh, here. Uh, also, the buttons are quite responsive. Here at the top, it has the power button. This one is uh, the line uh, jack. So basically, you can put a cable over here and connect it to... Uh, an amplifier and uh, this is the uh, jack uh, port and on the other side it has the TF card uh, slot which is already inserted as I can see yeah, it comes with card and uh, here we have the reset button and the charging uh, port now in terms of weight uh, I have here a scale as you can see it's on zero and if I put it here it uh, shows uh, 95 grams which is quite light but I'd like to show you something else now uh, this is the size of it comparison in comparison to uh, my iPod and uh, yeah it is quite big it's almost almost double the size and in terms of uh, how uh, wide it is now in order to play music uh, on this one uh, you have to remove the SD card this one comes with already with a 64 SD card but you'll need an adapter like this one for example and you have to insert the adapter and then uh, just copy music on uh, your computer. Now that I've inserted the memory card and I copy some files, obviously I have to press the power button which is uh, here at the top. Uh, on the screen will appear the name of the brand and we have to wait a bit. Yeah, so uh, this is how you navigate. Uh, there is a wheel over here. This is the menu and uh, you can see also uh, some light activated at the bottom which is kind of interesting. This is the equalizer. You get your favorites, my favorites in fact. Play settings, uh, settings, music and folder view yeah so pretty much that's it and uh yeah in order to change the volume you have to press this button over here now it's at set at 43 and you have to use the wheel to decrease it or to increase it and it goes up to 100 percent it takes a bit of time to do it with the wheel it's set at the medium level something like this uh yeah so if you press here the menu you get uh, the equalizer and for example you can uh, select uh, from different uh, uh, modes i'm just gonna put it to off in my uh, case and i have to press the back button and uh, for example if uh, i go here to settings uh, you press again the menu button and it shows here the language update uh, brightness uh, and all these uh, uh, settings uh here you can see the um, battery level uh, uh, that the memory card is inserted in the uh, volume level and i'm just gonna press back now and if i go here to play songs for example uh no music i wanted to go to music yeah if i press here on the menu which is the equivalent of okay it shows all songs artists genders and all that so for example if i go to all songs if i press menu again no playlist found which is quite interesting uh because i have to go like here in the folder uh view and then press menu and here i can see all the songs it's not very very fast as you guys can see and i don't even have a lot of uh, songs uh it is a bit of delay in my opinion all right and now i'm just gonna play one song and this is how it looks uh, uh this is how the basically the play uh, menu is but uh, obviously i need to test this out uh, it shows the mp3 shows no album no artist uh it shows the kilobits uh, per second and uh, yeah pretty much that's it so for example if i go here uh yeah it show it chooses another song and in order to play another song i have to play this uh, button over here if i have to adjust the volume i press on the volume and now yeah it is very kind of slow and I have to press play and it's stuck at four seconds which is kind of interesting okay one more time now it's playing and to change the volume 
I have to press volume and I have to do it like this. And now I'm going to make some tests. Obviously, I'm going to listen and I'm going to share with you my honest opinion about the audio quality. After I use this product for a couple of days, I came to the conclusion that it does a really good job. Uh, uh, in terms of volume, I think it goes a bit too high on 100% because it's extremely, extremely loud. And uh, as well, other things that I don't like about it, uh, the functionality of the buttons, uh, it is a bit complicated to adjust the volume and the go songs because I'm used with my iPod, uh, obviously a different product. And as well, it is a bit too big. If you put it in your pocket along with uh, your phone or something like uh, something else, uh, it takes a bit too much space. So overall, I recommend you to buy it or to drop it. Well, mm, I would say to drop it and I would recommend maybe you want to look into something else. But overall, guys, if you want to find out more details about a product, there is a link in the description. And uh, as well, guys, if you find this video helpful, I really appreciate it if you can tap the like button. Also, consider to subscribe. So see you in the next one.